Hi Cosmonaut, I hope you're fine. Today we are going to talk about Babylon that arrives very quickly. Since the project is already in testnet, Babylon is a project that wants to bring the security of Bitcoin to the proof of stake blockchain. In addition to this, Babylon responds to an offer and demand which until then could be not be satisfied, because it must be understood that Babylon stands between the proof of work blockchain that frees capital and proof of stake blockchains that demand capital. To share the security of Bitcoin, Babylon can both use the Bitcoin asset with the risk taking and both use the Bitcoin blockchain with timestamping. In this video, I will just not go into the details for timestamping, but we must remember that it allows the blockchain of the cosmos to benefit from the availability of data from the Bitcoin blockchain. Thanks to this, the chains of the cosmos can reduce the unbounding time of staking to a few hours instead of 14 or 21 days. Let's first see how Bitcoin stacking works and then understand the synergy with the Cosmos Hub. You can use the time code of the video to easily navigate. So how does Babylon release Bitcoin stacking? As everyone knows, Bitcoin is a proof-of-work blockchain that has allowed hundreds of thousands of miners around the world to release hundreds of billions of Bitcoin dollars at the rate of halving. And as you know as well, proof-of-stake blockchain is secured by capital stacks. But then, why its hundreds of billions of dollars would not secure the blockchain proof of stake in the cosmos. After all, all a staker does is pawn his token in a protocol that cuts off part of the capital in case of non-compliance with the consensus rules. Why? Well, maybe because Bitcoin has no slashing capability. Yes, it's true that the proof-of-work blockchain does not slash malicious miners but punishes them simply by not paying any rewards in exchange for the computing power offered by miners. This is the main reason for switching from proof-of-work to Ethereum proof-of-stake. This makes Ethereum the most secure proof-of-stake blockchain in the world, thanks to its huge amount of capital at stake. But not all blockchains have such a large amount of capital. Remember that the more stake capital there is, the more expensive it will be to attack the blockchain and the more economic security chain. If proof-of-work chains are secured by work, proof-of-stake chains are secured by capital. But then you will tell us how Babylon allows the largest source of capital to secure the proof of stake blockchain, no? I have more than 60 app chains with an attractive stacking app here that is just waiting to have more capital in stake. Well, when you want to use Bitcoin stacking, you have to manage two things at once. On the one hand, we have the proof of stake blockchain which needs security in exchange for yield. On the other side, we have Bitcoin holders looking for returns. Then between this, you have Babylon, which serves as a marketplace. At the level of Bitcoin chain, here is how the slashing of the Bitcoin this product. It calls for far slashing since it will be useful to block the Bitcoins involved in a contract on the Bitcoin chain, then to punish its Bitcoin in case of violation of the protocol of the consumer proof-of-stake chain. Since Bitcoin doesn't have a smart contract, it does not facilitate the task for such programming, which is for an example much easier for eigenlayer or mesh security. Babylon manages to overcome the absence of smart contracts through a combination of advanced cryptography innovation in consensus protocol and optimized use of the Bitcoin scripting language. Since there is no smart contract layer on Bitcoin, staking contracts must be expressed in terms of UTXO transactions written in the Bitcoin script. Each UTXO transaction spans phone can specify the conditions for spending phone through the Bitcoin script. To get to this point, Babylon had to tap into cutting edge expertise to find out how to use Bitcoin where it was not intended at all. On the proof-of-stake side, the challenge seems less complex since the cosmos was designed to be modular and interoperable. The use of Bitcoin as security collateral therefore requires monitoring of the price of Bitcoin by Oracle, which can be supported directly on validators. And the blockchain will need the information of who holds the Bitcoin to slash in case of attempted fraud, which requires the use of Bitcoin nodes by each validator in the chain. This will allow chains like the AEZ to not have to trust an external Oracle or a bridge to Bitcoin to take advantage of the Bitcoin security. Now let's talk about the synergy of Babylon with the Atom economic zone, but especially the synergy between Bitcoin and Atom. As we will have seen in the video on the vision of the creator of the cosmos for Atom, Bitcoin and the cosmos hub have a very similar missions, but achieved by different means. Both propose an alternative value transfer system. Bitcoin wants to be flawless even if it requires interoperability and a non-existent purpose. Atom allows itself other compromise, seeing an already 
already existing layer of unfailing trust. It turns out that in addition to having a similar mission, values and neutrality, the two projects complement each other perfectly and on several levels. Through Babylon, Atom releases the possibility for Bitcoin not to limit itself to money but to become a capital, productive capital by providing economic security. And in the same way, Bitcoin participating in the security of the AEZ. It receives Atom in its monetary form. Therefore, ST Atom that it will use in the interchain monetary monetary transfer card or as a challenge collateral. Thanks Babylon, like Ying and Yang, Bitcoin and Atom are assets that oppose but they complete each other. This also brings the two parts of the role of both currency and proof of stake capital together. The Bitcoin and Atom blockchain have two consensus that make opposite compromises. Bitcoin does all in on the liveness which allows it to never crash. Atom does all in on finality time that it simply instantaneous each block that passes guarantees the state of the blockchain forever to make it simple. The security compromises on the capital to slash are thus opposed. One slow and heavy, the other fast and light. If the hub needs to slash with a big capital, Bitcoin will prove very useful and it needs to slash an average amount but instantly, Atom will be the first source of security. They are two sources of safety with a size and speed really different, but it creates the perfect mix. You could also add between them ETH with solutions like Eigenlayer or PAPC. If Eigenlayer interests you, I made a complete video that compares these different security sources. My current state of understanding tell me that these three security panels, Atom Fast Capital, Ethereum Medium Capital and Bitcoin Slow Capital will find themselves less depending on the chains in all the chains of a fairly high time horizon. The video is now over, so don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, put a like and if you have any question, don't forget to contact us or go to the Discord. See you in the next video Cosmonauts, bye!